My name is Alex Mercer. You're probably wondering who I am and how did I end up here. Let's rewind a bit. This is also me. I was in my beautiful hometown of New York City about 10 days ago. I majored in history at NYU, and since then, I've been trying to find something to take me on an adventure. On a walk one day, I decided to visit the American Museum of Natural History. As I walked through the beautiful hallways of the museum, filled with artifacts from our history, I noticed a peculiarly open door. I decided to check what's behind it. After walking through a dark hallway, I entered a room full of ancient scrolls. One of them caught my eye. I pick it up, and something inside me has instantly been awakened. Within a week, I found myself in Cairo, Egypt, traversing a crowded market, searching for my old professor from NYU, the one and only Dr. Tarek Mansour. He was my favorite professor in college. I attended all of his lectures, fascinated by his wisdom and knowledge. I showed him the ancient scroll I found in New York. His demeanor instantly changed. He looked terrified. After a short pause, he said, do not look further into this, and handed me back the scroll. I begged him to tell me at least where was this place. After dinner, he turned to me and whispered just one word, Uganda. I took the first plane from Cairo towards Uganda's capital, Kampala. This was finally feeling like the adventure I was seeking. After finding my way around Kampala, I hired a driver to take me deep into the jungle. Along the way, we stopped to ask the locals in the villages we passed if they knew anything about this mysterious temple. By the time the road ended and I had to go on foot, the rain started to pour down like I'd never seen in my life. I was drenched, but I kept walking. I was determined. There was nothing that could stop me now. As the sun started to dip down, I saw a glimpse of a temple in the distance. I picked up my pace and I ran towards it. Little did I know, the news travels fast around these areas, and when I reached the temple, I was greeted by an armed militia. Who are you? He said, I'm a nobody, I'm just lost. I replied, you have no business around these areas. By that moment, I realized I probably went too far and asked for his help to find my way back. He said nothing, grabbed me by the hand, threw me in his car, and drove to the nearest village. At that moment, I felt scared, alone, and terrified. Maybe the professor was right not to go down this route. But to my surprise, he gave me fresh clothes, food, and shelter for the night. Over dinner, I told him my story, and we both laughed at how crazy it all sounded. Such a nice guy, 